Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 16 of the Age of Engineering. Hey guys, I've been doing a little terraforming out in the back areas of my base, getting ready to capture some Endermen. Hey buddy, come here for a sec. Thanks. <laughs> Just need to borrow that Enderman for a minute. Tried to make peace with the Enderman in my Let's Play series. Did not go very well. Now... And they are no longer. There, there will be no peace. No peace. Sorry, Enderman. Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, hey, I've got a broken cave spawn. So that's cool. Uh, we're going to go throw that into this dude. And you need eight levels of experience. I can make that happen with a couple clicks of this. There we go. And do your thing. Nice. Hooray! So that's slowly but surely going to run at, you know, a decent amount of RF, actually. Hope you have enough in there. Wow. You are eating up RF like crazy. Well, it'll happen. It'll do its thing. Are you running? You are not running. I'm going to help you out, power-wise. I should help a little bit. Might even throw a little thing in there. We'll see. Uh, today, I want to really work on getting that intermittent spawner up and running. And then, once we have that going, we should have easy access to item conduits, among a few other things, like vibrant alloys and all that good stuff. Um, so, we've got a handful of things. Let's look into what we need to get a spawner going. Um, now remember, powered spawners use a lot of power, especially uh, if you're spawning Endermen, and especially if you want them to spawn fast, which I'm not at the point that I'll probably put a capacitor in, but it'll still need to be fast. Uh, so for this thing to run, we need any kind of head, that's fine. Z-Logic controller is cool, Solarium, Zombie Head, Silicon, and Redstone. Silicon requires a centrifuge and silicon dioxide, which requires clay dust, uh, which we get from macerating clay blocks. All kinds of fun times. Clay really is... <laughs> used a lot in this back um we can make it with uu matter uh we can industrial centrifuge clay which is from tech reborn bees produce it electric crusher grinder world gen yada 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 yada, yada extractor not a lot of great ways to get clay why about clay blocks uh, obviously there's world gen molecular transformer from ic2 input dirt output clay energy 50,000 eu it's a lot of eu I don't even know what a molecular transformer is, aside from the fact that it turns dirt into clay. Um, C injection chamber. That is for mechanism, which is really late game. So out of curiosity, what's a molecular transformer take? MT core. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that requires iridium. Thick neutron reflector. It looks a little bit tricky. All right. So best option, unfortunately, is probably just to go mining for clay. Um, hey, don't do that. So you need to be macerated. Now, out of curiosity, um, four of them gets one silicon dioxide. Is there any better way to get clay dust? So Tech Reborn has its own clay dust. A grinder from Tech Reborn. Tech Reborn seems very IC one-ish. I'm wondering if that's kind of what its influence is. So there's clay dust from Tech Reborn and IC2. Those are the only two clay dusts that exist. According to, you know, the recipe guides here. So that in a thermal centrifuge should get me what I need. Cool. I'm going to have to go hunting for more clay. That's absolutely going to have to be a thing. But I did make my centrifuge uh, between last episode and this one. Thought you guys might be excited about that. Dire wire all the things. Oh, I left my back door open. <laughs> Get out of my base. So we'll probably want to look into a few things here. So that's my machine chassis for my spawner. And you're doing your thing, right? Working its way up there. No power. There's the surprise. Let's throw a little bit of coal into this dude to help boost the power gen. I assume that you, like, are actually producing power a bit, and your power is going somewhere. 
Cool. All right, uh, let's come back. I'm gonna go get in some more clay. You know what I'm also gonna do is take a nap because I want it to be daytime when I go get clay. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. I think that's a healthy amount of clay. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. I even got some salt. Not sure what to do with that stuff, but eh, we'll figure it out. Uh, the other other thing I needed to work on, apparently, including chopping down this tree a little better than I had, is I need to go find a village because I need emeralds like nobody's business, um, and I don't really think I have any. The only thing I've found thus far that counts towards in any way, shape, or form like an emerald uh, would be I found some of the actually additions version of emeralds. I'm just replanting my bushes here. Da, 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 da. Wow, you are really good at breaking things. All right, um, so yeah, what I found, pretty sure I don't have any emerald emeralds. Correct. I've only found these things, uh, and I don't think I convert them back into emeralds, can I? I don't think so. I think I can only empower them. Uh, I can't, like, de-emerald them and make them back to normal emeralds. So looking at my map, I've explored a lot in that direction. In fact, I followed this whole river here to get all the clay that I just got, and not much in that general area. Let's head due east for now, and let's check out this plains area. Maybe there will be some kind of village over there. I will be back in a minute. I'm going to do a lot of this off camera because I don't think you guys want to just watch me walking around for the next whole episode. It might take me a while to find a village, so. Wow, I am really lucky. Look at that. I mean, granted, it's nighttime, but there's a village right there. That is perfect. That's literally, like, look at this. I'm just like, maybe there'll be a village in this nice flat plains area. Boom. That's what's up. All right, cool. Uh, let's go visit some of these villagers, even though it's nighttime. Um... Maybe I could, maybe they have a bed that I can sleep in and pass the night. That would be super cool. Or I could probably just make one. And I just bash a bunch of sheep here. I did just walk past a couple of sheep. I could quickly throw together a bed just to pass the night. And then uh, explore this village in the daytime. Didn't you have looting on you or something? Why am I getting so few sheep wool things? All right, uh, I'm gonna quickly throw together a bed. Sleep outside under the stars, why not? I do miss the whole backpack concept. I don't know if there is one, to be totally honest with you. Bed is missing or obstructed. Alright, now that it's daytime and zombies are hopefully not raiding this village, I'm going to do my best to see what you guys got. So you want leather. Eh, we got some leather. We can bring leather back to get emeralds. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. You also want leather. No. Nah. Any other better trades around here besides leather? Because I have some leather, obviously. Raw pork chop. Mm, raw chicken. Not my ideal villager trade option. This villager is bad at building houses. Also raw pork chop and raw chicken. Wasn't there a dude here like eight seconds ago? There he went. Come back here. Rotten flesh, that's cool. Or gold. Yeah, I could totally bring some gold, some rotten flesh, and some leather. Those all look like things to bring back. So leather, gold, rotten flesh. What's going on in there? You look like a jam seller. Leather, gold, rotten flesh. You are bad at storing jam. I don't know if I want to buy from you, if you're going to leave jam laying around. 
All right, so leather, gold, rotten flesh. That seems like the type of stuff to bring back here. I will go get some and be right back. All right, so just did a bunch of trading, got myself 13 emeralds. That will hopefully hold me over for a bit. Running back home. So yeah, centrifuge silicon dioxide. Neat. Oh, cool, I get four silicon. Well, that's actually pretty not terrible. I didn't realize that I got four from that. That's that's pretty good, to be fair. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I was looking at making a staff of traveling, too, which shouldn't be too bad. Another vibrant crystal. Um, so let's get... Four of these guys cooking. Lots of stuff to make to get this up and running, but it should be almost there. So you did your thing. Cooking up a bunch of this. And go into here, and you can mix into that. Let's get our um, Z Logic controller going. So if I want a spawner, right? Uh, we need a head, we need a Z-Logic controller, that needs a zombie head, two solarium, two silicon, and a redstone. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So you, there should be a zombie head in here. Two, two, two. And I should have a couple extra solarium from last time I was playing with the stuff. Nice. So that's the Z-Logic controller. We'll also need electrical steel. We'll need our vibrant alloys, which I'm working on the vibrant nuggets for. Um... What else? That, that's it. Uh, I just need silicon, coal dust, and iron. And the alloy smeltery. How's this stuff doing? Not bad. I'll toss eight more into there. Keep these machines running. You guys are working on your stuff. Almost there. Um, you can centrifuge more of this for me. That would be great. Let's get some coal dust. Which I should have sitting over here. Let's get two ender pearls for now. So I can at least get this machine up and running. And then we'll kind of, we'll look into a staff of traveling might be one of the next things I make. By the way, I did between episodes make an energizer so I can charge my ender sword. That'll be a nice thing to charge other stuff in eventually as well. Nice, more silicon. You should be cooking up, good. We're getting there. Are you done? You are. And you? Nice. Broken spawner, Enderman. Nice. Now we combine this with a powered spawner and an anvil to set the spawn type. So once I make my powered spawner, I can pretty much have an Enderman spawner. And that's awesome. I did do some terraforming out there. I think that's roughly where I'm going to wind up putting stuff. Like my, my mob spawner might go out there? I don't know. We'll see. I, have to, I haven't 100% decided how everything's going to work out, if I'm being totally honest. So let's grab two of these emeralds, because I know I'm going to need them. And uh, we'll basically combine you with you. Perfect. You're almost done. I need the silicon and these guys next. Cool. And let's just come back in a sec once that's ready. All right, almost there, beautiful. So an Enderman spawner is upon us. I should have everything I need now to make a powered spawner. Oh, that is cool. And uh, anvil it up, boom, boom, 16 levels. Not a problem because I've got you. Nice, powered spawner, Enderman. Dun, dun, dun. That is good times, my friends. I'm excited about that. Uh, let's organize a little bit. Uh, so I was gonna put, like I was thinking we could have, I wonder if there's, I don't think we have random thing. No, we don't. Uh, we do have extra utilities. Um, ineffable glass just requires moonstone, which I haven't come across yet, but can't you make it now? Yeah, out of diamonds and lunar reactive dust, which you can make with lapis and a resonator. Nice. So we could make ineffable glass, which you could walk through, right? Um, and ethereal also requires a moonstone. Yeah, so that might be cool. And then we could just walk right into the enderman spawner room. Does that sound cool? I kind of like that idea. 
ish. Um, is this a good place for an Enderman spawner to kind of hang out? Or should I, I could just put it kind of further away. That might be a cool idea too. Like we could just set up over here. Now I can show range, right? And we can see, so you're gonna basically spawn in that area. So if we wanted to be cool about this, we would kind of clear out this range area. Yeah. So we could just kind of have our Enderman spawner a little bit of ways from our base. And that'll allow for, you know, more expansion later. Okay. So that might be where we stick that thing. I feel like I've reached a sufficient technological level and such that I can uh, go for broke and use stone bricks. Yeah. So this looks like a reasonable little spawning hut. Give it some light in here. Nice. That looks good, right? I like it. Cool. All right, so the last thing we're gonna need here then, by the way, I made myself a diamond wand because it's about time I made one of those two. Let's cut a hole in the center of the roof. That's for the power lines to go in, right? And what we could have is like a connector there. That should be cool. So I'm gonna pop one of these guys here for now. Cause that's pretty much your best bet for power transfer at this moment until we get uh, some better stuff going on. Uh, how can I run wiring out there? I have an idea or two. Do I have MV wire relays? I do, nice. So you could connect, I wonder if you would reach, I doubt it'll reach all the way. To here, but basically I'm looking to do this to this for now. And what we could do is something like you connecting all the way over to here-ish. Too far away. Bummer. Will you connect to here by chance? Too far away. Harsh. Harsh realities of life. What is the range on you? Looks like about there-ish. So if I made one of these, and then I made one of those, that might look a little bit nice, right? Trying, guys. I am trying. So if we had a pole connector like here-ish, and I need an engineering hammer. Let's put you here. Isn't that how you're supposed to extend? Uh, I thought you're supposed to hit this with the pole hammer thingy. All right, you're not behaving the way I expected you to. There we go. I think it was just being a little bit funny with its rendering. I got it connected though. <laughs> Hopefully you're in a good position now to... Nice. Now are you generous enough to connect from here to here? Probably. There we go. So let's pretend that eventually I'm going to replace you with that. Is there any kind of exchanger? Uh, 
maybe. I think there's a calculator that can exchange blocks, but I'm not 100% sure. But that should be cool. So in theory, you're getting power now, right? Oh, and you're trying to spawn things. Look at you. Active with signal now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So you, by the way, use 1,600 RF a tick to spawn Endermen, but that's okay. That's okay. Active with signal. Let's get you a lever going. Nice. Not bad at all. Look at that, we already got five ender pearls out of that. That is not terrible. I can live with that. All right, cool. So we've got an enderman spawner. I'll take it. Works for me, guys. We will get a door on that place eventually and maybe some better, you know, life situations to happen. But for now, that's, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. All right, good deal, good deal, good deal to do fix this wall at some point in the distant distant future that'll probably never happen nah it'll happen eventually maybe perhaps uh hey if i want sharpness it is 60 nether quartz and 15 lapis Because it's about time I take care of this. Yeah, I just got more ender pearls in those few seconds than I've ever gotten in this series thus far. Oh, and Enderman heads too. Look at that. Wow, that is that is that is some really nice stuff right there. I am very excited about that, let me tell you. Dudes. That is cool. Okay. Uh so let's real quick clean up a little bit. Nice. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, I can probably put away a few more things here. So ender pearls, yeah, right? Not too shabby. What was I gonna do next? Um, I was gonna make my sharpness thing, that's right. Uh, so I need a book, so I need some leather. I need some of you. I need a feather. And I need an ink sack. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do these guys. This will just make my sword that much better. And that requires 36 levels. Bing. Nice. And for you to be combined with you, requires six levels. Sharpness five. Beautiful. That should be doing a lot more damage now. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's come back in a sec. By the way, my extraction chamber is doing just fine. Um, somebody mentioned that the possible cause of it being stuck last episode is if it's not fully powered, like if it's not completely full, it doesn't start. So if it's at like 99.9% .9 full, it doesn't start. Um, and sometimes that can happen with MB wire connectors from immersive engineering. So try hooking it up with energy conduits is what I was told. But it's working okay now, so I'm gonna leave it be. Uh, so speaking of that, and hey, I just made another one of these because why not? Uh, I've been making these a lot, kind of whenever my HV capacitor here gets relatively full uh, and these guys are all full, like pretty much that's my power dump, right? I've got enough power to not worry about it for a moment, so I make myself some empowered Estonia crystals. It's a huge amount of power, but it's totally worth doing. Um, because I'm going to need a lot of those, because I need those to make, you know, lots of things, obviously, but most importantly, I need those to make capacitors. Um, so, yeah, we're going to want to be using those soon. Let's make some item conduits. Um, so if I want conduit, let's see what's up. So conduit binder, I get two of those from smelting binder composite. I need CF powder, I need wood pulp, and I need gravel. Wood pulp comes from a carpenter... Is that it? Or a sag mill? I get one from there, but I get four from a carpenter with water in you. So I've got a carpenter here with 
seed oil. Um, and I don't think I can pull that seed oil out, can I? Oh, look, I can. How nice is that? Sweet. So I could probably do that. That's kind of an, uh, a nifty thing. Because the other thing I could do is just drop a carpenter. Like, if I made another carpenter right here, we've got this guy already piping water into things automatically. So I could easily drop another carpenter there. I might want to do that. How bad would that be to do? I don't think that would be hard. Sturdy casing isn't terrible at this point. Um, so let's just get... You and you. Let's get eight of you cooked up into a plate. That's a quick process. Yeah, I'm thinking I want a carpenter dedicated to the water-based recipes because there's a lot of different things. They're like, yeah, I could be a little bit efficient, but honestly, um, making forestry machines at this point is pretty easy. All I really need to do is borrow you for a sec. Do I really have? I have one bronze item casing in there. So you guys should all be done. Yeah, you got me a bronze gear. You got me these two. This plus this gets these two things and that. It's cool. Now for a carpenter, I'm gonna need some bronze ingots and some glass. Cool. You guys have plenty of power to manage this. Let's go. Do I have, I have one of these. I thought I cooked up a bunch of stone over here. I think I already grabbed it though. Do I have some in here? I do. Cool, another piece of glass, thank you. So having access to conduits now is gonna be awesome for us, by the way. So that should start filling up with water. Nice, that's what I wanted to see. All right, cool. Uh, and then I can steal. MV wire connector, MV coil, and that should be good. Nice. So that'll get me the wood pulp that I need. I'll just throw a dozen in there and get a bunch. Let that run for a little bit. Cool. Uh, so that while that's going, um, Conduit binder requires CF powder, which is clay, sand, and stone dust. Nice. I got that. Let me get a little bit more, actually. Not bad at all. Uh, now we're going to want more stone dust, probably. I mean, we've got, I just used almost a stack, right? Uh, we get that from these things. Is that the only thing I get it from? I can algorithm separate a redstone into redstone ingots. That's kind of cool. Wasn't I making that some other way? Yeah, iron divided by redstone is one. But now that I have the algorithm separator, that's a much better recipe, and I get small stone out of it. So that's kind of cool. All right. Good to know. Uh, you made my wood pulp? Perfect. And I think I just need some gravel. And I should be able to make binder composite. Nice, there's a stack. That's what's up. And then we can go smelt this into two stacks of conduit binder. And that should last me a while. That is awesome. Um, so now I've got the ability to make item conduits. I've got the ability to make energy conduits, which is just redstone and iron, if I want tier one, or energetic alloys, which is easy. 
Uh, I've got the ability to make pressurized fluid conduits. Nice. That is awesome. Is a yellow wrench hard to make? I'm going to hope that it's not. Nah, just electrical steel and basic gear. Standard recipe. I'll take it. Yeah. I am a little bit hyped, you guys. Just a little bit. Do you have stuff in you? You do. Let's grab three of you. Let's grab some iron. Let's grab... Nice. Item conduits. I have a stack of item conduits, you guys. How cool is that? Dude, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that I'm getting to like a good technological level at this point in this mod pack. Um, this is shenanigans um, right here, the production of canola. Like I can't even keep up with the storage needed for the canola production that I've got going on. Like I'm just letting this thing run and it's just like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, Dyer, I'm good. Seed oil, we're gonna have, we have an overflow of seeds now. So at some point soon, we're gonna wanna ramp up our oil, turning into power. That's probably what my next project will be, if I'm being honest. Because right now, power production is my weakest point where I'm at. Um, I have a lot of foundational stuff, which is good. Um, and I'm very pleased with the foundational stuff that I have. Um, but I think the next thing I'm gonna work on, now that I have access to energy conduits from Ender.io, and I have access um, to probably making capacitors, uh, I would love to have a vibrant capacitor, and I totally can do that. I have all the resources for it. How many total basic capacitors am I going to need? That's the question. So for an octadic, I need two doubles, and for a double, I need two basics, right? So that's four per octadic. So I need 16 basic capacitors. And if I want 16 basic capacitors, I'm gonna need 64 empowered Restonia crystals. 64 empowered Restonia crystals. So I'm halfway there? But that said, out of curiosity, isn't there a slightly cheaper way to go with this? So with this path, right, that's four, eight, and 10. And then if I wanted to get to this guy, that's 22 octadicks. So that's more expensive, unfortunately, in terms of capacitors. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely more expensive. Not at all worth doing. Yeah, so basically I'll need a stack of empowered Bastonia crystals if I want the 24 uh, thing. So let's get our basic gear. We're gonna get our Yetta wrench. So a couple things I'd like to do. Um, better power, um, both production and wiring, because right now, dire wire. <laughs> Just a bit. And uh, you actually last a really long time. I put coal in, the, in this thing a long time ago and it is still just burning up. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I'd like to do. Um, the other thing I'd like to do, so yeah, you're doing that thing again where you're stuck and you're not doing anything. Oh, well, we'll figure that out later. Um, so better power storage and better sorting system. I should maybe be at a point where I can make, um, a drawer controller. So for that, I need these three different types of circuits. I assume that these circuits are not or dictionary with each other, but I'm really not sure. So I, I think this is a very specific type of circuit. Um, I guess once I clean it, I have to analyze it? I don't know. Analyzing chamber? Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Enderman spawner? Check. Item conduits? Check. Energy conduits? Check. We've got a really good position that we're in right now. i um, super excited for next episode because I'll be uh, probably working on better power gen and power routing. I'd love to be able to make a 25 million RF capacitor because um, then 
I should be able to start making diamond these things because these require 20 million RF to make. Um, and I should be able to start working towards solar panel controller tier two, which is actually a really good power gen option for us. I'll have to look into the other recipes because I'm sure somewhere along the line things get really hard, but we'll figure it out. For now, take it easy.